What's up YouTube? It's your girl T.O. The T and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be talking about my first day back to work. If you guys are new to my channel or if you are already subscribed, what's up? Click that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified, and leave your comments down below. I will respond to comments only if they are positive. Anything negative, I will ignore them. Mm. So let's talk about my first day back to work since I broke the ankle child since I broke the ankle yes I'm saying I broke the ankle so currently right now I'm icing my ankle I am going to be doing a video when I get off from work tomorrow to show you guys my boot and um how I put it on and like all of the essentials about my boot and how I ice my foot my ankle and stuff like that so just stay tuned for that video I will be doing another video talking about my cast because I got a chance to bring my cast home with me so y'all can see all the nasty ooky gooky stuff I don't know why y'all like stuff like that but y'all can see that stuff so going into work today was different it wasn't I'm not gonna say I was I was already like challenged in my mind like oh I'm not gonna be able to do this but I got to work and I, I woke up in a great mood this morning. I woke up in an awesome mood. Thank you, God. I woke up in an awesome mood and I prayed before I went to work. And I was like, Lord, let's just let's just have a good day. We're going to have a good day because I'm a conqueror through all things. And I got to work. Well, I got I, I, I woke up, uh, did everything I had to do in the morning time, brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, like try to do my hair. It can't. It came out all right, but um, even even edge control, child, mm -mm, mm -mm. they played with me. They played with me this morning. My edges was laid, and then they started un unraveling. Like I don't know if y'all see that, but child, but yeah, I did my hair and I took a shower and I did all of that good stuff. So, mind y'all, I have to wake up two hours early before it's actually time for me to go to work. So. I had to be work at nine this morning. I woke up at seven. So that gives me enough time to take a shower, do my hair, um, wash my face, brush my teeth, put my clothes on, have breakfast, and then I have at least like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to just chill before I actually get out the house. Cause that's what I did this morning. So after I did all of that, I went down stairs. My boyfriend walked me downstairs and um i got in the car and i was on my way to work getting out the car at work was a bit it was like it was like man like i'm not gonna say it was embarrassing but it was like oh like gosh why i have to have this on my ankle or on my leg big old boot so i got out the car and i had my lunch um my lunch uh bag with me and I carried my lunch bag just how like I carry anything else, like how I showed, well, like how I told y'all, like how I carry like anything that has a handle. I hook it around my fingers and I grip it onto the, I grip it onto the soft part of the crutch that you hold on to, and I would hop away, or hop wherever I'm going. So I did that. I I got in the door. I was a tad bit just nervous, you know, because it's your first day back to work and you're not you're you're not you so so i got to work and i went to the break room i clocked i put my stuff well i had time i had time to just i had like 15 minutes to just put my stuff up and then sit down for like five minutes just to chill because i didn't want to leave my house and then be rushing and i'm on crutches and i fall and where I live at, it's a lot of like dips and hills and the parking lots and stuff. And I don't want to risk falling and rolling down in the parking lot because I've seen that happen to an old lady before. I mean, I'm, I'm not old, but it could happen to anybody. And I don't want that happening to me. When I tell y'all that today was such a good, prosperous day, today was good. It seemed like God... No, God answered my prayers like he did. I prayed for every customer and every employee to just be positive or or even if they felt like even if they had negativity in them and they wanted to bring it out. It was like, you know, I, I, I pray for positivity my way all day today and I'm going to continue to pray for that. When I tell you I had nothing but positive customers come through my line like all day long i work as a cashier now for for 
Well, yeah, for right now, because I was doing the in-store Instacart, but your girl can't walk around and shop for people now, so I have to stay on the register. I was sitting on a stool all day long. My back did hurt a little bit, but I kind of figured out, like, once I had my back straight, like, straight postured, I stayed, I stayed perfectly fine. I didn't really ache or nothing like that. But um, my lunch was good. Just getting off was good. I got in a little go-kart with the little, the little disability cart. I drove around the store just looking at, like, the sales and stuff like that. I picked me up some ice cream, which I really don't need. I need to stop eating ice cream. But, I mean, YOLO. Maybe once. But, yeah. But, um, yeah. And I got me some Fabuloso because I like to boil that in my house. Y'all know about Fabuloso. That's a hack. If you want your house to smell good and you don't know what to... And, yeah, if your house is kind of, like, stinky and you don't have air freshener or anything like that, you can always take Fabuloso or any kind of, um, any kind of liquid fabric softener. You're going to do part, no, you're going to fill up the pot with water. You can use any pot that you really don't care about because this is going to have chemicals, like, rotating in and out of it. Take a pot, fill it up all the way to like not the very top because you're gonna finish it off with the fabric softener or the fabuloso. Only thing you have to do after that is once it boils down to like medium halfway, just keep adding water. Just keep adding water, and if you keep an eye on it, it won't burn out, and you'll have to you know you have to keep using more fabuloso. But that that one setting or like that that one time will last me like three times until like. I probably take my eye off for just a second and it burn out or something like that. Or 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 it's just been boiling for just a long time and it don't have that scent anymore. And you don't have to put a lot either to make your house smell good. So I bought that at work and I just browsed around. I was looking for this product. It's called S S G X N Y C. It's like a curling cream. And my mom had bought it. She recommended it to me. Just like how she recommended Nacho Mamas or Nacho Mothers. And it was good. Had my hair filling. I got that on my hair right now. Like, I know y'all see it. Y'all see the curls and tins. Y'all jelly. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just happy, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm just happy. So sorry if I'm acting a little wild, crazy, bougie, whatever y'all want to call it. But I'm just happy because... <sighs> Working at jobs where where you're trying to, like, not necessarily fit in, but it's like you just want to come. You just want to come, clock in, do your job, and go home, and you want to focus on what you're doing at home. But it's like sometimes working, yeah, customers, maybe sometimes associates, they take a toll on you or employees, and you have to, you have to learn how to balance all of that out. You have to learn about what's important and what's not important. And that's what I'm learning. I'm learning how to balance my life out with work, with YouTube, with other stuff that I enjoy doing, like writing and reading and stuff like that. I, I, I want to incorporate that into into my my lifestyle because that is what I like to do. So I'm telling anybody out there who needs who needs to hear this, you have to have balance in your life. If there's no balance, that your life is going to be a little chaotic because you're going to be trying to do this and you do get mad because you wasn't able to get this done so you have to have a balance i have a planner i carry my planner now everywhere i go so today i had planned on my planner on my break time it didn't go that way because i was on the phone and I got off the phone excuse me y'all who i just burped sorry i got off the phone with one person and then another call was coming through so i was like well my day is not over and i still have to own up to what I had planned for today. And today what I had planned, I'm sharing it with y'all and y'all can go read it as well. Today I had planned was to finish Bible study because I fell asleep last night, which I I um I, I tuned in on Facebook to my first lady and my uh pastor back at home. I tune in to them, Bible study, church, like I tune in. So if I fall asleep or if I don't finish it, I will finish it the the following day. My plans was for today was to finish that. I had about 20 more minutes of it to watch the video. And then I am supposed to read today. 
Romans, Romans 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 29 through 39. Y'all should read that. Drop your comments down below. Tell me what y'all received from that scripture, what, you know, what God is telling you, or if you, or, you know, or if you was blessed to, to receive the, the scripture, if you was blessed, let me know in the comments, because now we need to stay focused on God. We need to stay focused on him because he's coming back soon. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's my king. God is coming back. And I'm going to tell as many people to get their life together because I'm still getting myself together. But I can encourage someone else to, hey, you know, get your life together because tomorrow's not promised. The next five minutes for us right now is not promised. So life is precious. Repent. If you felt like you did something that was that was ungodly, that was that was unlike him, repent. He's a forgiving God. And I'm only saying repent because you never know when it's your time. Everybody has a time, divine time. We all have a time in life. And once your time is up and you haven't fulfilled the things that you were supposed to do, that's it. That's it. I'm sharing this information because I want to see people go to heaven. I want to see people on the right track with God. And I love y'all. It's, it's, I don't know y'all. Y'all watching me and I love y'all. God said love everybody. Love them all. You have to. He's a forgiving God. I even love the bases and the crackheads and and the prostitutes and the drug dealers and the rapists. You you just you just have to love them. Love them. Just love them. Cause God loves them and God loves us hard. He don't love us with half of his heart. He loves us with his whole heart. He loves us with all of him. We are his image. He loves us. He made us. If he didn't love us, he wouldn't have made us. God loves us. He loves you. If you're watching this video, he loves you. He he loves you. And I love him. I love him so much. Who about to cry? I love him because it's just that serious. If you don't have a connection with God, get a connection with God. He's always there. He's walking beside us. He's doing miracles and we don't even see it. We just got to appreciate the little things. The little things are what matter. The roof over your head, the shoes on your feet, the clothes on your back, the pots and pans to be able to start up something in the kitchen, your car, the fan is here for when it get hot. Just appreciate the little things. Just the little things, just the little tiny things, the little tiny th deodorant so you won't smell stink. Just the little tiny things, like the little things, they, they matter, water. Look, up, look at different places in different countries and stuff. They have a lack of water supply or their, or, or their water is contaminated. We have to be mindful. We have to be mindful of just the little things. And that was told to me. And I thank that person that told me that because I didn't think like that. I always thought about me, 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 me. And it's not fair because what I have, somebody else don't have. I have a phone. Somebody else might not have a phone. I have a bed to sleep in. Somebody's sleeping on the floor. It's the little things. God loves y'all. Y'all get y'all lives together. Because when God come back, that's it. That's it. It's like time is just going to stop. It's, it's, it's going to stop. And that's just going to be that. So uh, I'm encouraging you guys to keep pushing. Dang to keep pushing and to to just, just just take one day at a time because we can't live for tomorrow if we haven't seen it. We can't live for the next three weeks. We can make plans to do stuff. And my daddy used to always say, if the Lord's will, and I used to get mad at him for saying that a lot. Like, daddy, we going to go to the park today? If the Lord's will. If he say that one more time, that's how it used to be. If he say that one more time and then we end up going, but now I understand because it's the Lord's will. If if he cracked the sky open right now, we ain't going to the park. I understand that now. Take time out for God. 
who loves you. I don't know how many times I could repeat that. It's it's the love in it. He he loves us so much and we sin so heavily, like heavy. So we have to love. We have to love because we try to figure out why this happened or why that happened. Y'all, we are in a spiritual warfare and Many of the times, the killers and the rapists and the pedophiles and the and the and the gang bangers that be just drive out shooting, killing kids in the midst of it, they be possessed. They be demon possessed. But we don't see it like that. We see it as oh, they they just they just doing that for for pleasure, raping, or they just doing that to get out on the streets to get known, killing people, or or they watching pornography and they watching kids, pedophiles. Like, they are demonic forces on those people. Those are demonic forces on those people. They are possessed. Because ain't nobody in their right mind is going to go out and kill no little girl. Nobody in their right mind is going to go out and hang themselves. If you in your right mind, you're not going to do those things. If it's... If you in your mind up here and it's right and it's right with the Lord, you're not going to think to do those things. The devil persuades you to do those things. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy. And we have to understand that. We have to understand that. So when I be seeing on the internet and on social media, oh, fry him, give him the electric chair, he raped that little girl, and he killed them. Yeah, I be praying, I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, man, like, Satan had him bad to to make him do that. But we don't understand is that when kids, when children pass away, when they die, they go to heaven automatically. The child's sins is not upon them. They go straight to heaven. They go to heaven. So I don't too much worry about the the child i I'm, I'm hurt that it happened like man like why that had to happen to that little girl why that had to happen to that toddler or that baby boy it's it's the it's the person that did it pray for them pray for those people that are out there in their evil doers because they're possessed pray for them they need our help they need prayer pray for the land pray for the people that walk on the land when I say the land, the earth, pray for the earth. That that mean in Surinam, that mean in Ohio, that mean in Africa, Haiti. Pray for those people. Pray, because prayer changes things. I believe. I believe that everything will be okay. I believe that I got God on my side. I believe that. I believe it. I know sometimes it may be seeming weary. You get worried because stuff come up, finances start happening, and just everything just start happening. You just be like, why am I getting hit with all this stuff at one time? It's okay. Because guess what? You know how I see it? I'm going to use me for an example. I recently just paid off majority of my bills. I just started back working. Victoria's Secret Pink called my phone asking about a payment. I told them, I don't have it. When I have it, you'll have it. The dude asked me again. So when will you have it? I, <clears throat> you must have not heard me clearly. Let me repeat myself. I said, what I said was, when I have it, you'll have it. Good day, sir. It's like, okay, it's okay, it's okay not to be able to pay stuff on time like it is okay because guess what if you drop dead right now ain't nobody gonna get their payment you dead can't nobody get no payment can't nobody get nothing that you owe them because you're dead why are we so stressed out about getting up our credit and doing this don't knock me credit is good it is good but it's like we do so much earthly things and we forget about the heaven, the heaven that we're supposed to be going to. Ain't no taxes in heaven. 
Ain't no, ain't no credit scores going on in heaven. Ain't no down payments on the house going down in heaven. Ain't no brand new car in heaven. All you're going to want to do is just worship the king. It's like you're going to be standing there. In the presence of God, like, what do you want me to do next? I'm like, I'm ready because that's just how it's going to be. It's going to be so peaceful. You ain't going to have to worry about a bill inching up on you, inching up. Oh, I got to pay this bill in two days. It ain't like that in heaven. You're just sitting, waiting for God, waiting for him to tell you to go do this or to go do that and praising him. And it's nothing but joy and happiness. So you're not going to have to worry about bills and if you're able to pay this to make this work, it ain't going to be like that. That's why I don't stress about bills and all this other kind of stuff. I knew that I was going to be late on my bills because I know that I wasn't in work. I, I know that I wasn't working for a whole month. I, I knew that. So I'm not going to sit here and get mad. Oh, I don't got this and I don't got that. Yeah, it's like, man, like all this stuff coming at one time. It's like, why? So that's just something to look at it's like we so focused on the earthly things that we forget about our real home and that's heaven that's 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 my real home this is not my real home this shirt don't mean nothing my lips don't mean nothing my hair don't mean nothing oh none of this don't mean nothing it, it don't it don't because i know that i'm not gonna be in my flesh form in heaven i'm not gonna have urges to do this or temptations to do that I, it ain't gonna be like that it's not it ain't gonna be like that sorry to tell you sorry to bust your bubble but i'm gonna keep it as g as possible and this the tea i got for y'all today this the tea that i got for y'all yeah it ain't gonna be none of that it ain't gonna be what you think it's gonna be in heaven it's gonna be peaceful it ain't gonna be what you think it is on earth on earth People worry about the wrong thing. Oh, I need to get my money up so I can go buy this, buy that. I feel like finances and increase, they will come. And God will show you what to do with them. And honestly, when I receive income and increases, I want to help people. I want to help myself, establish myself, and then I want to help people. I want to help people. I'm helping somebody right now realize that all of this stuff don't mean nothing. It means something because because a lot of people don't see the bigger picture. If you die right now, where are you going? To be complaining about this in the earth or that in the earth or this in the earth or that in the earth. I. It's so sad that I can go on my Facebook right now. And I don't like going on my Facebook because it's a lot of wicked and and a lot of just inappropriate stuff on there. And I and I just I just I, I just go on there. I post what I have to post, and I get off. I may go to like a, a marketplace to see like what's going on in the marketplace, who's selling what or whatever. But it's just so much going on on there. It's like a lot: sex, drinking, drugs prostituting people selling their bodies on only fans i mean dang your whole body like come on we gotta do better we gotta do better as people as god's people because when he come you don't want to be left behind you don't want to be left there left behind accept jesus christ as your lord and savior invite him into your heart Invite him into your mind. Invite him into your mouth, your tongue. Your tongue is powerful. It's a reason for everything. But yeah, life life and death lies in the power of your own tongue. It lies in the power of your tongue. The tongue is powerful. And the fact that people feel like the earth give them power and 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 what they have because of their job or anything. There's a bigger power than you, and that's and that's Jesus. Jesus. Yep. But today was a good day, guys. I will be recording for y'all tomorrow. Not in my uniform, but I will be recording for y'all tomorrow. I'm icing right now, so that's why I immediately came in the house. I was about to tear the dough down. I was about to tear the whole house down trying to get to the bathroom because I had to pee real bad. But... Today was a good day. I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. And we're going to talk about this boot and how I feel. Because, baby, 
I got stuff to tell y'all about this dude. Mm. Stay prayed up, fast. We we are in the last days, and the last days could end anytime. God could come anytime. So, and I've been hearing that since I was a little girl. Where we are in the last days, you know how long that is. People think that the last days is a week, two weeks. The last days have been twenty three years, cause that's how old I am. And my parents been telling me that since I was coming up in the church. Their parents been telling them that they're that 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 we're in the last days. My mom about my my daddy about to be I think forty six. That's forty six years. Ago.